Okay, everybody, welcome to Genie IDE, Getting Started. And my name is Tokyo EdTech. It's not my real name, but that's what I go by on the internet. So first, a real quick shout out to my paid channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. We got our Snake members on the left, Art Invader members on the right. Uh, this video was actually requested by Ezra in my uh, private Discord. Um, Ezra is a 16-bit member, and as a 16-bit member, as where it gets access to that private Discord. So if you're interested in supporting the channel, click the join link below. So today, what I wanna talk about is Genie, the Flyweight IDE. This is the editor that I use in most of my videos now. Um, I've gone through a few different editors over the years. I've used Visual Studio Code, I've used uh, BB Edit, which is a Mac only one, and I there's Idle also, which comes with Python, because I do most of my coding in Python. But these days, I am a fan of Genie. And here's the Genie webpage. I'll put a link down below. It's genie.org. And you see here it says it's the Flyweight IDE. It is, a, it is a very small download. It's a very fast program. It has, I think, enough features uh, for both beginners that don't, don't confuse them. Uh, and it has enough features for people who are a little bit more advanced. Uh, but don't need all the bells and whistles of something like Visual Studio or don't want, need all the plugins and things that Visual Studio Code has. So I'm going to assume that you know how to download and install software. Um, so you just go to Download Genie. If you're on Windows, you click the here. If you're on Mac, you would click here and install it using your normal process. I, of course, am a Linux user, which you may or may not know, but you can probably tell by looking at the screen here. So I installed that. I, I don't know if I even use this or if I downloaded it through my you know, distributions package manager, I forget. But anyway, point of story is you download it here. So let's go take a look at what Genie is and how to kind of get started with it, because that was the question I got from Ezra. So I'm gonna go ahead and click over to Genie. Okay, so when you run Genie, um, you'll see this particular screen uh, the first time. Now I've already had it installed, so it's I've actually changed it a little bit from the initial install, and I'll show you a couple things that are, are kind of key here. So the first thing you notice is that the file is untitled. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say, let's just do a, a Python file. Well, actually, let me go ahead and type a little Python code first. I'm gonna go uh, hashtag uh, you know, Tokyo EdTech, uh, intro to genie and then I'm going to say print you know welcome to uh, Tokyo uh, EdTech's channel oops channel now if you notice none of the code is color coded or syntax highlighted this is because genie doesn't know what language I'm programming in now if you're you know, if you're familiar with Python, you can say, oh, that's probably Python. You'd be right. Um, but Genie doesn't know that until you save the file. That's what tells it the syntax that you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and hit File, Save As. And I'm just going to go ahead and put this on my desktop. And I'll just call this genie.py. So save that. Okay. And now you can see we've got the syntax highlighting. So the print uh, keyword is highlighted. Uh, the text is also highlighted in green and the comment is grayed out. So this is this is what we wanted to happen. Now, <clears throat> so the question was, how do I execute a file? What do I, what do, I do at this point? Okay. So you'll see here there's this little gear thing and it says run or view the current file. Now, if I click this, what should happen is you'll see down here, welcome to Tokyo EdTech's channel. So I have mine set up so that the terminal is actually embedded in the program. Now by default, when you download it, <clears throat> excuse me, it's not set up that way. You actually have to enable that. So to do that, you go to Edit, Preferences. And there's a bunch of preferences here. So you'll see we're here where it says Terminal. There's a little tick box here. It says Execute Programs in the VTE. Now, I'm sorry to say to Windows users, it doesn't work on Windows. At least it doesn't the last time I checked. Okay, so I'm gonna uncheck that. I'm gonna click Apply, click OK, and I'm gonna run this again and see what happens. Okay, so you can see how it pops up here in the terminal rather than down here. Now you may prefer to have it this way, uh, but like I said, Mac users and Linux users have the choice of, of embedding it down here. Uh, Windows users do not for some reason. It's, it's, requested, it's a requested feature, but the developers have not uh, added that. Uh, yeah, speaking of, this is a free piece of software. It is open source. It means you can look at the code. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. 
um, you know, I, I'm a big fan of open source software. I support it. I use it uh, where I can. Uh, yeah, so now, <clears throat> so that probably hopefully will get you started. Now, one thing you'll find, uh, especially with Python, you might have to do the following. Now, once you're in a Python file, so you go to build, and then you'll see down here where it says set build commands. So when I downloaded this, it was like this, Python and Python. I had to, now in my computer, your computer may be different, I don't know. If it's not working or if it's uh, running Python 2 and not Python 3, you might have to come in and put Python 3 here. There's Notice there's no space between Python and 3. So you need to change those two things. Don't change anything else. I don't know what they do. And we click OK. And then once you do that, then this command should be working as expected. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Now, one of the things I like about Genie is that I can also do other languages. So for example, I'm going to create a new file. Actually, you have some choices here. It'll actually create kind of some skeleton code for you. So if you're going to do Java, you could, uh, you know, it'll do this nicely for you. I'm going to go ahead and delete that because I don't want that. Um, so you can do Java on here as well. I'm not sure about building and compiling. That, I'm kind of curious about that myself. I don't know how that works. Let's let's try that. Well, yeah, let's try it. See what happens. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen here. System dot out dot print ln uh, Tokyo Tokyo EdTech and semicolon. Oops. So I'm going to save that onto my desktop. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and I think in this case I have to build it, maybe compile it. Let's try it. I don't know. Okay. So Java, untitled Java, director, there's a compilation finished successfully. All right. Let's see what happens if we run it. Oh my God. It worked. That's fascinating. Okay. So you can do Java as well pretty easily. So there is the compile. If you don't know what compile means, learn Java first. They'll, they'll tell you about that. Um, let's see. I also, I also use this uh, with HTML. So I can go ahead and make a web page. So I'm going to do a quick HTML uh, head. Uh, let's see. We'll do title Tokyo EdTech. I know I'm getting repetitive here. Um, just title slash head. And let's see. Body. And let's see. H1 Tokyo EdTech. Okay, and slash h1 and slash body and slash html okay so i'm gonna go ahead and save this uh, i'm just gonna save it to my desktop like i did before i'm gonna save this as index.html and save it and now you can see how we have the highlighting so if i click this button what i think will happen is it will open up the browser and show me the file yeah there we go Okay, so it opened up my default browser and showed me the HTML file. So what's one of the things, again, I, I really like about this program is that it does multiple languages. You can see on the, uh, on the Genie homepage, they talk about 40 different languages, uh, 50 programming languages and 40 human languages. So it's a uh, cross-platform, it's free, it's open source, it does multiple languages. Um, I just find this to be a really, really quick and, and helpful program to use. Um, now notice I've changed this to HTML. So I think it has completion as well. Yeah, so you saw how I just typed the H2 and finished it and then it automatically added the closing tag. So, um, okay, a Christian Thompson. So I'm gonna save that, I'm gonna click this again. And again, it opens up my browser. So you can see Genie is clearly a very fast program. Uh, it's definitely faster, I think, than something like Visual Studio Code. Now again, it doesn't do quite as much as Visual Studio Code. It's, that's an, it's an amazing program. I like it, I use it, I have used it. Um, but there's a lot of features here I just don't use that much. Um, there's, there's plenty of things you can, you can change the, you know, all kinds of different options. Um, one thing that might be useful if I can find it, uh, configuration, no. Um, again, I don't do this very often, but let's see, it's in, a, it's in a weird spot. Ah, color scheme. So I can go to color scheme and there are some, a couple defaults built in. You can actually download more and add them, but, uh, 
I forgot how to do that now. And it's a little bit different on each operating system. But uh, you know, the, the web page has a lot of information. Just go to that web page and read it, and it'll it'll kind of walk you, walk you through those different things. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. I'm gonna go ahead and turn back on the uh, virtual terminal. Uh, but you can see here, you can change the colors, you can change the font sizes and things like that. Um, you know, you can change the key bindings so that things work how you like them. Um, you can change the fonts here. Uh, I use a kind of a bigger font, A, because my eyes aren't that good, and B, when I record video, it's, it's a little bit small on the screen, so I make quite a bit, a bit of a bigger font. Um, you know, you can change, there's just so many options. I haven't played with all of them, to be honest, but uh, I think if you get used to the program and use it the way it's kind of intended to, I think you'll find a lot of, uh, I think you'll find it's very helpful. And again, I, I use it with my students because I teach, as you can see, Python, I teach HTML, CSS, a little bit of JavaScript, and I do teach Java as well. So I like that it's one program that does everything. So my students don't have to, you know, in my Python class, they don't have to get used to one editor. Then when we go to Java class, they have to learn a whole new editor. It's something that can grow with them over the years. So anyway, I hope that uh, gets you started. Again, Ezra asked about that. I hope... Uh, That'll give you the information you need and anybody else that's looking at this. And I'll put a couple of links down below about, you know, Genie Editor um, and just a couple other things. I think I mentioned a few things, but I'll try to remember what they were. So anyway, uh, if you can, support the channel by subscribing or becoming a paid member. I do appreciate everyone. And again, a quick thank you to my members for being there. Have a great day and uh, keep on coding.